You and a friend are watching a ball roll down a hill, like this. It's pretty clear what's going to happen to the speed of the ball. But what happens to its acceleration? Increases, decreases, or stays the same. Could you explain to your friend how it is that what happens to the speed is not necessarily what happens to the acceleration? That speed and acceleration are two different concepts? Could your friend explain that to you? Stay curious. Okay, I know you've had time to explore this on your own with your friends. Let's take some time to explore this together. Speed is a measure of motion. The faster your motion, the faster your speed. So let's look at this ball. Initially, when you let go of it, its speed is zero initially. But as it rolls down the ramp, it goes faster and faster and faster. Its speed clearly is increasing. But what about its acceleration? Acceleration is much more complicated. Acceleration is how quickly you change, how quickly you move. Uh-huh. Imagine you're moving along at 60 miles per hour. And then you're moving along at 60 miles per hour. And then at 60 miles per hour. What's your change in motion? There's no change. And because there's no change, there's no acceleration. Acceleration is a measure of the change in motion. If you go from 60 miles per hour to 70 miles per hour to 80 miles per hour, you are there accelerating. And your body is an accelerometer. You hit the accelerator, your body responds, it goes back. When you're hitting the brake, also known as the decelerator, your body lurches forward now, doesn't it? And there's another device in your car that allows you to accelerate. That's your steering wheel. Because interestingly enough, motion can also include direction. And when you change the direction, you're changing your motion. <laughs> That's acceleration. All right, so let's look at this ball on the ramp. Here it is at a very steep angle. And at a steep angle, it's almost going to be in free fall. And so you have the acceleration of gravity, and it's going to be about 10 meters per second squared. As it rolls down the ramp, look at the curvature of the ramp. The steepness gets less. Finally, at the end of the ramp, there's no steepness at all. That ball's going to shoot out of the ramp with a high speed, right? But if you can ignore friction, its speed isn't going to change. It might leave the ramp at 60 miles an hour. It'll stay at 60 miles an hour because Newton's first law of things in motion tend to stay in motion. So what's its acceleration down there? 60 to 60 to 60. Acceleration is zero. So we see at the top of the ramp where it's steep, the acceleration is great. Down at the bottom, where it's level, the acceleration is nothing. Going from great to nothing is a decrease in acceleration. So yeah, the speed is increasing while the acceleration is decreasing. Speed and acceleration are closely related, but they're not the same thing. Now, if you understand this, if you really do, you'll be able to answer this question. On this ramp, the ball rolls down. What happens to its speed? What happens to its acceleration? Very good. Good science to you.